la di la di la di la. School of school of school of schools. University of the Underground from the Sandberg Institute in Amsterdam. The subject this week is reverse engineering economic mania. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the fourth day of the School of School of Schools. Today is the School of Value with Luke Rideout. I hope you're excited. Thank you for coming. We are coming live from the Arta Building in Istanbul. We are the University of the Underground. We are a design experience class from the Sandberg Institute Amsterdam. And we have been tasked with the mission of coming up with our own alternative economic models. We've already had three days? Three days. Three days of economic models from the School of Influence, the School of Individuals, and the School of the Invisible. And today, now, we bring you the School, School of Value. Value. Jack, what's been your favorite part so far? My favorite part so far uh, was day number one. Day number one. I can go through this, it's a bit louder. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yes. Um, so day number one, we had Joe. You did a thing. That's true. And you also, we were also joined by Malé. Malé did a thing. And also we had, who else was the, who was the first day? Arda. Oh, and Arda. Of course, Arda. Uh, yeah, that was a highlight for me. That was perfect, Jack, just as we rehearsed. Yeah. So, okay, kicking it off now, Luke. Congratulations, Luke. Hello, I'm Luke, and welcome to my radio show about value. It's going to come in three parts. The first part is a short lecture on valuation, or my perspective of it. The second is a field recording from Istanbul. And the third is an interactive, it's a bit echoey, interactive stock market in which you stand to win cold hard cash. Uh, for that part, please have some one lira coins ready. Uh, if you don't have any, there's some here you can exchange uh, your bigger notes for. We can do that later, though, if, if you need. So I'll start by talking. <clears throat> Through a systematic dissection of the economy, I decided to attempt to re reverse engineer it through the relationship it has with culture. It's important to remember that although touted as a science, economics is wholly reliant on invisible socio-political factors. It also has the power to alter our ability to interact with our environment. As such, a two-way channel exists between economics and culture. For example, the cultural information on Twitter can affect the value of shares in Tesla, whilst the value of the lira can affect how people choose to live their lives. Culture is an interface which allows us to communicate with the market. The trouble with this relationship is that both sides of the system are controlled by close-knit, exclusive yet global communities. Investment advisory firms hire only the most logical reasoners, and television stations pour out instructional information on the choices you can make. Mass media and finance firms are the ones talking to each other through the machine, and they only seem to have one conversation at heart, how to stack paper. The seriousness is obvious. The global culture propagated by these parties does not value the majority of entities or the environments they exist within, only a few choice individuals. So, we are in a state of economic mania, allowing a globalized private system to influence how we lead our lives. The market is a methodology for collecting and distributing value, with its claws sunk into almost everything you see around you yet hopelessly disconnected from the environments it affects. The tulip trade between Istanbul and Amsterdam is an early example of the use of globalization as a tool for creation and exploitation of new markets. The pr proliferation of this effect eventually led to the financial system we have today, hooked on rampant growth at all costs. Okay, there you go. I'm now gonna play a little video and probably talk over it as well. One second. So, uh, when I arrived to Istanbul, I was fascinated by the people who, let's, there we go, who uh, 
use carts as a kind of portable shop. They collect uh, unused products and repair them for resale. I wanted to work with them to create some sort of speculative object, which, for, for example, a hat, which gives you the skills of your favorite football player when you wear it. The, I the idea was originally was to ask members of the public to value those, this weird item and then ask you guys to guess the values or something like that. But once I took to the streets with some scribbled notes in Turkish, things took a totally different direction. And that's not what should be playing. One second, technical difficulties. Can you see me? Can you see me? Emin So the first person I asked, yeah, yeah. Uh, read my notes. Mm -hmm. Bro, really, I don't know. It's not my life. Found it difficult to value the hat. So I decided that a football, a hat that gives you football players' powers, probably wasn't something that people were that interested in here. So instead, I thought, what about if I make a machine which turns music and dancing into simits? which is a very popular uh, snack here. I started looking in a hardware shop. I don't know. Hmm. And I, can't, I don't understand and I don't know. What do you want? Well, the, this is no in, in Simit? Oh, yeah. yeah. In, uh, OK, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, sorry. Mm. Okay. You want? That's good. Uh, I need to find this ah, machine. Okay. So I went to a hotel to ask them. You did book? All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Uh, and then up. Mm -hmm. Then again. Mm -hmm. Right side. Go down. Mm -hmm. uh, about the five minutes on oh. the left side. Yeah. You will see. Okay. Is and it how it much is it worth? Turkish lira? I don't know. The time it's worth. Roughly, do you? He pointed me in the direction of a place where I could probably buy this simit making machine, but he had no idea what it was worth. <laughs> I walked down the street and found myself in this tall tower full of people selling various machinery and hardware. I thought I'd start at the top and work myself, work my way down. That's oh, really difficult. So at the top of the tower, I found someone who is willing to help me, but he didn't know where I could buy it. He was short. He gave me a name of someone who could probably tell me. Sidney. Mm -hmm. Sidney. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just go ahead. Eh? And so I went downstairs to the office where this guy was located. <clears throat> And there's three guys inside who are very happy to help me again. Uh, and they, they know exactly the shop I need to go to, and they even print me a map. Which is very kind. map? There it is. Um, so yeah, I followed the map and ended up, well, uh, I, this is me walking out of the building. But it turned out the address just led to an apartment next to a shop. And I wasn't about to knock on a random door. I don't door. understand what is it. What is it? <laughs> By the way, yeah. I don't know. So, I read this article about Simit bakeries and decided maybe they had this machine to make Simits from music. But they didn't. And so I just realized it probably doesn't exist. That's 
Ça. So, yeah, that was that. Now uh, I have a little game we can play, the stock market. It's a real stock market, but it uses the cultural data in the room as I got hopelessly sidetracked searching for data in the real world uh, as market forces instead of mass media. So I'm going to ask 10 of you to value three commodities on this piece of paper from one to five Turkish lira. Do 10 people want to come up and get a sheet? <clears throat> the commodities are school, currency, and a simit. Thank you. Everyone's coming up and taking a piece of paper. There you go. There you go. Make sure you have a pencil too, or, or whatever you need. So what I would like you to do is look at each of the three commodities, school, currency, and a simit, and uh, write, a sh write next to where it says Turkish lira your value, uh, a number from one to five. And then also write a very short description of why you chose that value. Five being the highest value and one being the lowest value. And then once you're done, just pop up to the desk and uh, we'll move on with the next part. So just to clarify that, Luke, yeah. we're writing just a number of lira. The, uh, write a number next to where it says TL, mm -hmm. and then also write a short description of why you chose that particular value. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, let's have a little bit of in-between music. <laughs> We got maybe 10 more seconds. We've got 10 seconds, everybody, 10 seconds. Oh, it's gone down to nine now. We've got nine seconds left. We've got eight seconds left, everybody. We've got seven Ten. seconds. We How many it. seconds have we got now, Luke? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, dong. That's the end. Oh, we please, that's the end. Please hand, hand your papers back. back in. Everybody with the paper, hand it back into Luke. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, John. Don't be Just slow. Just good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Heather. Drew, oh, come on, everybody. Thank you. Now, uh, I just need to, the, as the market, I just need to run some quick calculations. So if Joseph and Jack, you could just kind of, I don't know, entertain people for okay. maybe 30 seconds. I'll be quite quick. Entertain people. Hey, Joe, what do you like about Simmets? Um, you know what? Actually, I haven't had one yet. You haven't had one? No. But they're everywhere. I think they're a bit passe, aren't they? Coming over to Turkey and having a Simmet. Oh, OK. That's not what I'm about. I've had, a, I've had a Burger King. You've had a Burger King? Yeah, I have. Have you enjoyed anything else? It's, it's the subtlety between a Turkish Burger King and an English one is... What, is, what, what are the subtleties? Um, do you know what? I, I, there's not really that much of a... No, okay, I didn't think there was. <laughs> what would you do with a summit? Um, put it in my mouth. <laughs> piece by else? piece. Let's list 99 things you could, you could do with a summit. I let it go stale. And then I could hang it up, for, varnish it, freeze it, paint it, use it as a frisbee, use it as a, a wrist armband. If you can't, people are shouting in with their own ideas now. Even though I asked Jack, hey, what would you use a simit for, Ryan? Mm, as a crown. As a crown. Crown. Very good. Luke, how are we getting on? Coming along nicely. How many? We'll be there. Good, good. Just keep going. You could do it. Okay. Go on. You could, more simit ideas. Oh, we have simit, we have simit ideas from Lauren and from Sharon. Um, I was wondering if you guys have seen different models of economy on the bridge. You know the bridge with all the fishermen? What, what sort of things have we seen there? For example, the guy who's uh, asking, he, he brings his weighing scale so you can weigh yourself and There's in exchange for money. I thought that was pretty smart. That There's was a huge deflection from the simit question. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. How much do you weigh before the simit, and how much do you weigh after the simit? Yeah. Do we uh, have to talk about simits? No, 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 no it's okay. fine. Um, 
So uh, different, old, different economic models within Istanbul that we've seen so far. Yeah. Has anyone seen any of these? There's a guy on the bridge who fills up three water bottles and then you have to kick a football at them and if you knock them over, he gives you a prize. But if you don't, which you obviously won't, he doesn't give you a prize and you have to pay him. That's quite a good... Yeah, that's a good one. That's a game that you'll always lose. Sounds like a scam. Yes, it's a scam. Um, Has anyone seen any more? There's a very obvious one, but there's obviously a guy who's selling bait and tackle and everything to all the fishermen. There and True. buckets of water with little fishies. So what happens? He's just basically supplying anyone that, with bait and tackle and stuff like that if they don't have it. And these really cool little wooden, um, well, I don't know what they're called. They're just used to hold the rods on the bridge, but they're all handmade. They're really, they're cool. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I think I'm ready now. Oh, wow. There you go. Thank you, everyone, for your cement related anecdotes. So... Now there's going to be an initial public offering of the stocks, which you are welcome to buy, which you probably need to buy, otherwise the game won't work. Um, so the cost of a share in school is going to be four lira. So how did you, where, where did that come from, Luke? I averaged everyone's votes, and then the average is the initial public offering cost. But because the cost is so high, there's only going to be two shares available in school. Currency is three. So there's going to be three shares available, slightly less valuable. And a simit is also three. So if you would like to purchase some shares, we're going to have 10 rounds of the stock market fluctuating and you stand to probably make some more money if things go well for you. I'm going to open trading by hitting this gong. School. School. Huh? So, who wants school? Heather, how many? So there's want? a huge rush of people towards the stage. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. OK, OK. What? There's only two shares. Oh. Heather. Tom school, is punching school. someone. School. School. Oh, school. Schools are going like hotcakes. <laughs> Don't worry, you can trade amongst yourselves. Uh, Jack, is there any school left? Is there any school left? School. It looks like Sh- school's out. School? Okay, five school. down, please. Put five. Uh, who, who's going to... Okay, yeah. put... There's your... I'm a, I'm a gentleman five. trader. There's an altercation. No, it's four. Take, take an extra one. It's getting violent. So... Now we have, uh, so school's all gone, but all we got, simit. you want all the simit, yeah. okay? What can I get for three? I want one simit. Can I have all the simit and I'll pay double? Okay. <laughs> so Sharon is offering a ter- nine for all the simits, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, here you go. Is that legal? That's not your money. Okay, I'll be, I, okay, bring bring some money. money, come on. Sharon Sh- is using his, uh, his, his, yeah, there's some cheating going on now. Chaos. What? I'll buy. What? How many simits do we have? Three. I'll buy two, two. for the dub- double of the price. Okay. No, Sharon. Okay. <laughs> for... But then you have to. Luke, stop this. Are you going to sell out the third for the same price, or? Well, yeah. I'm going to buy the, 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 the last simit for the normal price. Not oh, Avita price. does too. <laughs> is it worth <laughs> the normal price? Yeah, that's the question. Well, you're you're the ceremony uh, master. <laughs> the simit is three at the market the price, but Sharon's just paid. Okay. So you just okay. Tom's just paid double for the simit. Luke, I was in the queue. No, no, no. no, no. Huh? I want Is there change. not a queue? Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> I, <There's> have, <laughs> I paid market price. We only have currency left. Currency is three. Three. Oh, I've got three. Perfect. Do you want one? I want one. One currency. I hope no one's been taking anything out of the little pot. Can, let's hear the sound of this one. Nice. Great thanks, sound. Thanks for that. So there's two more shares in currency. If anyone wants one. Two more shares in currency. If not, we'll begin moving the prices around. Oh, Juhi has come to the stage and she is buying currency with currency. It's three. It's three. There you go. I've got one currency. It costs three. Uh, yes. Oh. 50, fa- 50 oh. in fake money. Oh, Laron. sorry, Lauren, oh. you were too slow. Malay Malena has three. just stolen Did Lauren's currency. Did you just take currency. money out of the pot? No, you can't do that. 
<laughs> okay, thanks, All the rules Lauren. have been broken. Lauren's paid for a currency with a fake 50 lira note. <laughs> Everyone? It's uh, inkjet printed. Okay, cool. Everyone's happy. Or slightly happy. Well, I've got quite a lot of money. That's good. So uh, let's have the first price change. Drum roll. Future. Uh, the, school, the opinion of school is that it's the future and the price stays. No, the price goes up to five. So you, I'm guessing you paid four for it, so now it's worth one more than you paid. How did you calculate that? That's what someone said about it. Currency, someone's written reflection. The price goes to two lira, so it's dropped. And a simit is mundane, the price is two lira. It's also dropped. That's what I think as well. Uh-oh. Anyone want to trade amongst yourselves? I've got nothing more to trade. Anyone selling anything to anyone else? No? 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 Keep hanging on to everything? Should we change again? S school. I believe education is the most valuable thing a person could have. <laughs> five. Still at five. Currency. Uh, it's negative. It goes down to one. <laughs> and a simit is a food source. The price goes up to four Turkish lira. Anyone want to trade? Can you, can you sell your... You can sell to each other. You can sell them back to me. That's what I thought, yeah. We, you can sell back to you. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'm the market. I don't... I'm just here to facilitate you making money. <laughs> that's, that's all I care about. So, Luke, how much is currency worth now? Currency is currently worth one. And school? School is worth five. And Simit? Four. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that, you're most welcome, Jack. No trades? We'll change it again. School staying high at five lira. It's a social place. Currency going down. No staying at one, sorry. Uh, just bits of abstract stock. And a simit is going down to three. Yummy culture. Mmm, taste that culture. Any trades? You're all very, very stuck in your ways. You want to keep what you got. That's fine. Okay, well, it can't get higher than five, so. There is silence on the trade floor. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I, want to, uh, exchange, I would like to exchange one simit yeah. for currency. Who's got a currency that is willing I've to got trade currency. with Sharon? Shotgun. A uh, one for one trade. Look at that. Oh, yes. oh nice. Any, no. Anything else? No, it's a on? bad move, Jack. <laughs> Hey, that was a great move. So we already know the averages. Great move, Jack. Okay, let's, let's do the next one. School is okay. It's down to three Turkish lira. Okay, I would like to... Well, uh, uh, wait, we have to, do, we have to do the other ones first, sorry. There's a system. So there are some rules. There are some rules. C currency is bad. And is, not, is still just worth one Turkish lira. And a simit... Simits are like Turkish donut. Five, five lira they're now worth. They've gone up. Trade away. Ooh. Thomas Burke here from Watford. I've, I've got a simit for sale. Who wants the simit? Give you first currency. Currency. No, I want, five, I want five lira for it. Wow. Well, that's currency. <laughs> How much is currency worth right now? Currency is worth one at the moment. <laughs> No trades? There's a simic going, it's very valuable. Tom is waving his paper. You can sell it back to me as well, okay. if you want cold hard cash. <laughs> Five. Oh, yeah, I don't think. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sell in. Can oh. I sell mine as well? You're selling a simic? Yeah. All right. Uh, if you just tuned take, in, you are listening to the there, trade Jack, floor. Jackie boy. One, two, three, four, five. I hope this is clear for those listening on the radio, what's happening. It might not be. I think we've done a good job describing yeah, there's what's a, going There's on. good noises and things. Okay. You'll stay there. You've got proximity to the market. Okay, next one. 
School, education saves us. The price goes up to four. Mm. Currency. Can't live without it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I don't know. The price goes, stays at one. <laughs> a simit. Nutrition is needed for life. The price goes up, stays at five. Any trades? Currency is one. School is four. Simit is five. I've got three simits here if you would like to buy one. Great. How many rounds do we have left, Luke? We've got five more rounds. Okay. They're going to be. Halfway. Uh, no, because Simit's worth five and school's worth four. <laughs> yeah, it was worth a try. Okay, well, next round. School. Learning equals good should be accessible. But some reason that means it's worth zero. The price goes to zero. It's free. Currency, question mark. The price is now zero. <laughs> We're, it's a crash, everyone. It's a crash. <laughs> a, a simit. People got to eat. The price is now zero oh Turkish lira. People are jumping out of the window. <laughs> These are, they're going. They're free. Oh, my God. Oh. Everyone's going. Oh, 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 it's mayhem. Oh Rogue trader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Someone has come from the back Everything of the is worth and nothing. grabbed all of the tickets. There's nothing. There's nothing here. It's all out there. Sorry. Denied. School. <laughs> Valuable. The price goes back up to five Turkish lira. Oh, oh my God. All right, here we go. Here's five. We have a sale. The economy is just... Currency is overrated. The price changes to two. And then a simit is cheap and the price goes to one. So that's school five, currency one, a simit... No, currency two, a simit one. Anything? I've got one share in school here, worth five. Three more rounds. I going recommend to someone get the, get the school. Going to the next one. School is worth five, Turkish lira, still. Currency has no value on its own. The price is zero Turkish lira. Oh my good God. And a simit is two. Okay. Coming up to this is the penultimate round. School. Oh, Heather's up. Oh my God. A school, you There's get. a ripple through the crowd. Heather sells a school for five. Selling a school for five. Heather, can you, how do you feel? A process, mm. one I've got two shares in school available. Okay, going to the next round. School. Stressful, but super important. The price goes down. Three Turkish lira. Sharon is up. Buy one. Cool. Yeah, I'll buy two for five. No, you won't. You'll buy, <laughs> <laughs> you'll buy, <laughs> you'll buy one for, f for three yeah. and give yourself some change. There we go. Okay. Currency. I want it all. The price goes up from zero to five Turkish lira. A simit. It would be Ooh, better. Jukey's coming up. <laughs> so it's just one. Sell. What are you selling? Currency. Currency is worth five. Take five out of the pot. And we're on to the last round. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, no, what? I want to buy something. Uh, I've got one share in school, one share in currency. School is three, currency is five. School, please. Oh, I'm selling my currency. Yeah, me too. Oh, two more <laughs> coming up. <laughs> okay. Do, yeah, you, no, do you sell one, yeah? Uh, no. Well, wait, what are you selling? Five. Yeah, go on, tell you that. It's kind of like an anonymous value. Uh, how, okay. this, so this is the last round. I just want to say that I know what the last round is because I wrote them down. Oh. What? Okay, are we ready? Oh my God, it's insider trading. There is... My stock is worth 420. School. School is for social structure. The price is five Turkish lira. We should listen to Joe. Currency is also for structure, and the price goes to f stays at five Turkish lira, and then a simit is for eating. It's just one Turkish lira. A simit so is for eating. So that concludes the trades for today. I'm gonna close trading. Well, first, so you can trade it once more, and then I'm gonna close trading. Evita's Everyone. Up. No, uh, you, you can sell it now if you want. What have you got, yeah. simit? You get one. No, this is the end. So, I want to sell a school. Sell a school? That's five. Take five. Oh, wow. Selling school? 
Uh, I'm setting a school. I'm setting two simits. How much are the simits? The simits are one, so you need to give me three if you're going to take uh, that. Uh, I mean, okay, wait a second. I'll give you, I need to give you three, then I'll give uh, you this, and I'll take I'm two confused back. by this mathematics. I'm just, okay, I, I've started this experiment by paying six yeah. and, um, liras, and now I have 12 liras. We have a Double successful money. participant. Very good. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Sharon. Round of applause for Sharon. Congratulations. Yeah, well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed playing the stock market. That's the end. I'm going to close trading. Yeah, sorry, one second. Wait, I'll do it again. It's closed, everybody. That's the end of trading. Everyone go home. Everyone go home. Okay, thank you. Hey, well done, Luke. Congratulations, Luke. Thank you, Luke. Is that that's a that's a wrap? That's a wrap. It's not a wrap yet, Luke, because we're gonna now we open it up for questions. Okay, I'm Are you ready? ready. I'm prepared for questions. The first question is from our very own Prophet Hound Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you explain uh, the three uh, the three kind of shares that you sold? Like, why is what is the meaning of school? What is the meaning of currency? And what is the meaning of simit? Yeah, so I wanted to try and kind of use the stock market as a way of discussing these three different ideas. And I chose those three ideas because they kind of relate to where we are now and what we're doing. So in other times I've run it, I chose different things that were related to the context. Um, yeah. I'm a bit confused about concept. How can currency have a value, a financial value? It's the idea of currency. The, the concept. The concept. Yeah. So when you asked people to write down what they thought about the thing, school or currency, what does that actually mean if we think about it in the real world? Well, I think it, as you watch the market fluctuate and hear what other people have to think about something, you're kind of, it's not directly affecting the value of things, but it's kind of background cultural information which is somehow relevant to people's understanding of the world. So you can perhaps learn what other people around you think of a certain thing. I found your <coughs> adventures in Istanbul really interesting. Mm. Did, you, did you manage to um, get what you were looking for? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lauren. I, I have a question for you, Luke. Yes. Um, so the first event you have, we were searching for a, a musical simit making machine, yep. or a machine that would turn music into simits. Yes. Uh, but you're also asking people to value how much that machine would be. Yes. So I was wondering if you could maybe elaborate on that point and what do you think the role of valuing things that don't exist is? is uh, where does that play out? I guess if you see it as something that could potentially exist, it's kind of a way of testing the waters. What do people want? Like, if people... I mean, I had a lot of difficulty communicating with people, and that kind of derailed the whole thing. But, you know, if you could go and ask people what they thought of these made-up objects, and they gave an opinion you could understand, it's kind of like market research. Do people want a machine that makes simits from music and dancing? Yeah, and also I suppose um, it's kind of like a useful sort of archaeology in you can make up concepts and ideas and products and place them inside of different cultural contexts. Oh, that's a loud noise, wasn't it? And you can, yeah, you can sort of, uh, you, it's like a measurement, isn't it? I mean, that value and price and currency are all, like, it all can become measurements. Mm -hmm. So I guess by using things that don't exist, you get an idea of that. And did, I mean, did you get any responses from anyone on the streets in terms of a, a monetary value for these objects? I think the real problem was that they didn't, I couldn't communicate actually what they were. That was the first issue. Uh, everyone was directing me to uh, like hardware shops or music shops. They saw the word machine or music and dancing. So but yeah, it, it's kind of difficult. Um, 
so no one really gave me a, a hard value, which is a shame. But that's a shame. Um, Any other questions for Luke? Malay, do you have a question? Uh, is this the microphone that's cracking? Um, I hope my question is clear, but um, moving around here and talking to traders, um, do you feel like this being a city where it's more common uh, seeing kind of like unregulated trading situations in the streets? Do you think people have like a different relationship to, to the value of things? Um, well, take... I guess it depends on what's being traded. Like, for example, simits have a fixed value, that's, and there's like a body that makes sure that that's the price people are charging for it, or like there's a set price. Where, and also in shops and things, things are very like bartering isn't really a thing, as far as I am aware or have become aware. Um, but then I guess with the people trading on the carts with just like recycled televisions or keyboards or whatever, you can you can be more flex. They'll be more flexible. Um, they're also physically flexible as well, which is quite interesting. If a certain area isn't, there's no customers. They can literally pick up their shop and move it somewhere else. Um, yeah. Very nice. And uh, last question from Sharon. Tom's come in with a question. Um, the game was fun. Congratulations, Sharon. You made a lot of money. Yes. How did that? How, I just yeah. How did it feel? Um, making money at like other people's expense feels good, right? <laughs> I just want to say that it's not on other people's expense because everybody played the game. The only. Uh, like the only expense that was paid was Luke because you didn't take any commission for um, uh, your work, so you're the only one who actually lost literally. Yeah. I started with twenty and I ended up with five. So yeah. Cultural capital. Ah, yeah, cultural yeah, capital. Exactly. Which brings me to my question <laughs> about <laughs> valuing concepts. Mm -hmm. um, you, you talk about it as a speculative idea, but um, do you or any? Anyone else here can think of um, things in financial reality which are actually um, valuing concepts, in which people buy or sell concepts rather than products. Yeah. But social media, you still sell products. Yeah, I think. W w what about derivatives, like bets on fluctuations? There's nothing physical there. It's just the idea that something's going to change. Yes, but then like, the value comes from the change. Yeah. And change is a physical thing. So it's still not a concept. The change of the, the price of a share, is that a physical thing? I mean, the, spe yeah. the speculation is not physical. By the end of yeah. the day, the making money is yeah. physical. Yeah. There's blank faces on the floor here. Ooh. Does somebody uh, um, remember the book for Futures by Peter Freys? And he's talking about rentism. Um, maybe can somebody explain to us what rentism is? Looking at you, Jack. Um, so, oh, I'm going to do a terrible job at uh, describing this. Hey, John. <laughs> Good to see you, John. Here's the microphone. Hey, yes. Yeah, so I read the chapter on rentism for, uh, in for Futures. And I guess the idea that he was concerned with was, well, he started off talking about uh, people owning property and just having that sort of, and then charging people to live on the property. And the sort of, um, that rentier doesn't really have to do anything, but can just accrue money by the very fact that they own a piece of land. So, and then uh, he compares that to now intellectual property and how people are essentially like renting out ideas um, for concepts and have ownership over the way people use these sorts of ideas. So he uses an example of John Deere tractors having software in them that it is illegal for farmers to manipulate or repair themselves uh, because John Deere owns the intellectual property rights to the software in the tractor. 
And you see similar things with iPhones and jailbreaking iPhones and stuff like that. Although I think laws have maybe altered the way that jailbreaking works with iPhones. I can't remember. I, th that's it. That's all I know. Hey, that was great. Very good. And Sharon's good. We're all good. Should we... Uh, Any oh. last questions for Luke? That's a no. I think that was... We covered it all. On that note, I think we can all agree property is theft. And this has been <laughs> the School of Value. <laughs> so thank you very much for ending day Just four and five. We'll see you tomorrow at 2.30 for the School of Consumption. 2.30 again. Are uh, you going to be here, Jack? Uh, this time I will be here, yeah. Great. See you later. Hey, the jingle, Luke. La di la di la di la. School of school of school of schools. School of school of schools. School of school of schools. School of school of schools.